Hi guys! So, in today's video, I will show you the first prints done with the Triangle Lab DeForce D300 3D printer and show you the results. So, for the very first print, and because I don't have any information or recommendations for creating a profile for this printer, I will be using the already sliced model that is included in the SD card. And for this, I will use the same PLA that was also included with the printer. So let's start and let's see what happens. So this print didn't take too long and the result is this crazy vase model. This printer is equipped with a flex build plate, which is a flexible surface secured by a magnetic base. You just remove the surface out, bend or twist it a little until the print pops out and then just put it back and start another print. It's that easy. Now back to the print. Look at the finish. The model was printed in the vase mode. The layers look amazing and the smoothers are really making a very good job as you cannot see any salmon skin pattern on this one. I really love how this model turned out. Now it's time to slice my own models. And because I don't have any example or recommended profile settings, I need to create a profile guessing all the settings. Unfortunately, the slicer I normally use, which is Idea Maker, does not support Delta Type printers just yet, but it's still possible to work around that, but I will leave that for later. And for that reason, I will go back to using Cura, and I will use the old version. Yes, because for these first prints, I think I don't need to complicate things. So, with the profile created and using all the guest settings, let's print my favorite calibration model, the Ripple Test Cube, and with a print speed of 70 millimeters a second. Well, it seems that the settings I guessed are not that far off. The cube turned out very, very good indeed. Now let's get a more demanding model, and naturally using the same profile settings. For the next prints, I will be using some Filament PM. This is one of my favorite brands, and the 3D pros know exactly what I'm talking about. I got these awesome colors from Badandella store. I will be using the orange, the silver gray, the copper and the metallic violet. You have to check their website. They have a large variety of filament types and colors to choose from. You can find the link in the video description. So the next model in line will be, and how can it not be, a Benji. And here it goes. Let's see what happens. And the Benchy turned out not that bad at all. Remember, I'm still using the guest profile settings. The front of the boat looks very smooth. I have some hanging issues that need to be addressed, but overall and for the first profile settings is not that bad at all. For the next model, I decided to print one that everybody is talking about, the astronaut. 
and I will be using the silver gray. And here it is. Right off the bat I can see these uh, zits or blobs. These are retractions related I presume. So I need to adjust that. The layers again look awesome. And this color is amazing by the way. And as a request from my wife, I decided to print this all. And it seems to be great for testing. Again, the results are not bad, but I can get it better, once I adjust the profile a bit better. But the wife loved the final result. And with some lights and creativity, the result is awesome. Now let's push it a bit more. Now I will print the Sorceress. This one is one of my favorite models and for that one I will use metallic violet. And this metallic violet is absolutely beautiful. This color actually changes a bit between gray and violet depending on the light orientation. The model is actually very good and I love the details. The only thing that was not as good was the little fingers, but they are really really small and I believe I can improve this later on. And that's it you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and if you did, don't forget to click like. Also, subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on the YouTube notification so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Also check my new Facebook page where you can find extra information about my videos and some sneak peeks about what I'm currently working on. Don't forget to check the Barandellas website and see all the amazing products they have in store and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!